Hey guys, Chad with Bass Boat Electronics back at you today. Uh, a lot of talk on this Explorer unit just, just got debuted on Monday. Um, a lot of internet chatter asking about uh, the Helix compatibility. Uh, everything we read obviously says Ex Explorer, Apex units, and the Solix G3 will be compatible. However, they're not completely compatible yet and we'll get into that in a minute. So. Uh, we've got some used helixes here and I was on the way to work this morning and I had this idea and it's like nobody has officially that we have seen tested to see if a helix is even compatible for waypoints between the, you know, a helix and an explorer unit. So I come in here, got an ethernet cable, a dongle hooked up uh, to this Gen 4 helix. It's fully updated to the latest software and of course we have the new explorer. So we wanted to do a test to see if you could, by chance, still share waypoints only like you can between a Helix Solix or Helix Apex. So we've got the two units set up here. Uh, I'm gonna make another new waypoint. So I'm gonna go in here and make a waypoint real quick. Uh, then we'll go to the Helix and see if it did transfer. So as you can tell, everything's all hooked up. Everything's ready to go. So let's just make a random waypoint here. We'll make it yellow. Bam, waypoint set. So let's walk over to the helix. You can tell we're in the same vicinity. Obviously, we do not have a map card in. And there is no waypoint. So for everybody asking, will an explorer in a helix share waypoints? The answer is no. That's what Hummingbird has come out and said with what information they've given out this past week. But you never know till you try. So we know a Helix and Explorer, no dice, nothing's going to share. Uh, and it's not to say the Helix is not still a good unit. Uh, it's still a very uh, viable unit. Still, I think, one of the better units out there. Uh, depending on what you want to do, at least price point wise, anyway, especially now with the price cuts. So. Next up, let's try an Apex that has the latest 4.21 software and see if it will be compatible. All right guys, so we're back. We've got the ethernet cable connected between the new Explorer and the Apex. This is our first time doing this. So we're going to learn together. Um, the operating system of Explorer is completely new. This Apex still has the, not old, but the current operating system so to speak uh we're just going to see if they will happen to share a waypoint so here we go all right so waypoint is set and we do not have a waypoint as expected um <clears throat> hummingbird is coming out with a new software for the apex series and the solus g3 only to turn it into the same operating system as the explorer so once those updates are loaded into the units, they should be out relatively soon. Um, you will then be able to connect your Explorer to an Apex, a Solix G3, share waypoints, share sonar, um, just like before. So that being said, uh, there is a new GPS puck coming that is NEMA operated. Uh, so instead of having to buy adapters for different units, you don't have to do that no more. Just run you a NEMA backbone easy peasy and the best part is if you have Lawrence or Garmin on your boat it will connect with those as well so that's a very smart on Hummingbird's part I like that um, a lot of rumor mills going around the internet right now about to explore about the Helix, Solix, Apex all that so again we are learning as we go uh, we look forward to bringing you more content on this great unit and what, what's more to come uh, hopefully Mega Life 2 will be here soon we can put it on a boat Go give it a shot. So, as always, we thank you for watching our videos, uh, calling us. We love the support. Um, if you have any questions or if you have something you want us to look into on either unit, uh, just reach out to us. Uh, our contact forms on the website, BassBoatElectronics.com, or you can call us at 1-800-931-9926. See you on the water.